This is 7.1b of geometry. So we're going to talk about ratios. Um, our book talks about it in terms of extremes and means, and I've never heard about that up here, so we're going to ignore that and keep moving on. You really don't need it. So um, when we're using ratios and setting them equal, that's called a proportion, right? So we talked about regular ratios. Now we're going to talk about proportions when we set those two equal to each other. So something looking like that. And this is where we use cross multiplication. You only use cross multiplication if there's an equal sign in between two fractions. So A over B is equal to C over D. Then you can multiply this way and multiply this way. So we get AD equals BC. Okay, so let's try solving our proportions down here. So I'm going to multiply 9 times 14, which is 126, oops, equals, and then 2 times A, so 2A. And then we'll divide both sides by 2, and we get that A is 63. And that would be our answer. Alrighty, let's try our other one. This time we've got more than just one letter on the bottom, right? We got a letter plus one. So when we multiply three times m plus one, we need to put the three on the outside and put the m plus one in parentheses. Equals and then m times 15, which is 15m. So now I'll distribute in. I get 3m plus three equals 15m. And then I'm going to solve for m, so I need to get the m's to one side. So I'll subtract 3m from both sides. So I get that 3 is equal to 12m. And then we divide by 12. So m is equal to 3 twelfths, but then we can simplify that. That's the same thing as 1 fourth. So m equals 1 fourth. And that would be our answer. Or 0.25, that also work. Okay, so we've got a couple properties. So let's look at our first property here. Um, if you look at those two, what changed is that the A and the C were on top, and now they're on bottom. So we can flip both, both fractions or both ratios, and it'll still be the same. It'll still be true, right? So they're still equal. If we look at our second one here, you can see that B and C switched spots. And that makes sense, right? Because if you think about when we're cross multiplying, we would do B times C. And if we do it over here, we'd do C times B, which when we're talking about um, multiplication, order doesn't matter, right? Two times three is six, and three times two is six. So you can switch those. You can say the same thing about A and D, right? And then this last one, Looks a little complicated, and I'll explain it. Um, so if this is a true proportion, you can add the B on top and add the D on top. You can add whatever number is on the bottom. And here's why that's going to work. Let's use um, some numbers. So let's say we've got one-third equals two-sixths. Okay, that's true. Now if I'm going to make the equivalent statement, I'm going to do 1 plus 3 over 3 equals 2 plus 6 over 6. Well, I can, I'm going to not add those for a second. I'm going to simplify this. I'm going to split these up. That's the same thing as 1 third plus 3 over 3. That's the same thing as 2 6 plus 6 over 6. Now, if you look at these two right here, 3 over 3 is 1, and 6 over 6 is 1. So this is 1 third plus 1 equals 2 sixths plus 1. And then, of course, we can subtract 1 from both sides, and we get that 1 third is equal to 2 sixths. So when you're adding whatever's on the bottom, you're basically just adding 1, right? When we think of solving equations, if you add 5 to one side, you're supposed to add 5 to the other side, right? And it kind of seems like, well, hey, hold up, we're not doing that here. But actually we are. Even though we're adding 6 over here, and sorry, 3 over here and 6 over here, since we're working on top of a fraction, 
right? You're, you're just adding one, it just looks a little different. Okay, <clears throat> so let's look at our got it problem. So we are told that this proportion is true, x over 6, oops, or 6, equals y over 7. And then we're going to look at these that they have for us to fill in the blank and um, look how it changed and how well we can fill it in. So we've got 6 over x equals blank over blank. So what I do is I compare this new one to this old one. So we've now got 6 over x, and it used to be x over 6, so we flipped it. So I need to flip the second fraction, or the second ratio, so we get 7 over y. And if we look at this one here, we've got blank over blank equals y plus 7 over 7. And if you compare this guy over here to this one, you can see that we added 7 on the top. So we need to add 6 on the top of the other one. Remember, you add what's on the bottom, right? Because you're essentially then adding one. And there's your homework.